So I have to accept myself the way I am. The sooner the better. So I applied the lip color for the first time. And I erased it. And I cried. There are some incidents that happen in your life. And those incidents are so strong that they change your DNA. Those incidents or accidents are so strong that they break you physically. They deform your body, but they transform your soul. Those incidents break you, deform you, but they mold you into the best version of you. And I still remember the day I sat on the wheelchair for the first time knowing that I'm never going to leave this, knowing that I won't be able to walk for the rest of my life. I saw myself in the mirror and I talked to myself. And I still remember what I said. I cannot wait for a miracle to come and make me walk. I cannot sit in the corner of the room crying, cribbing and begging for mercy because nobody has time. So I have to accept myself the way I am. The sooner the better. So I applied the lip color for the first time. And I erased it. And I cried. And I said, what am I doing? A person on a wheelchair should not do this. What will people say? Clean it up. Put it again. This time I put it for myself because I wanted to feel perfect from within. And that day I decided that I'm going to live life for myself. You know what? We human beings have a problem. Out of many problems, there is one more. And this is self-created one. We always expect ease from life. We have this amazing fantasy about life. This is how things should work. This is my plan. It should go as per my plan. If that doesn't happen, we give up. So my dear friends, let me tell you one thing. I never wanted to be on the wheelchair. Never thought of being on the wheelchair. I was always aspiring to do bigger things, but had no idea that for that I have to pay the price to be where I am today. It's a very heavy price. This life is a test and a trial and tests are trials are never supposed to be easy. So when you are expecting ease from life and life gives you lemons, then you make the lemonade and then do not blame life for that because you were expecting ease from a trial. Trials make you a stronger, better person. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. Everything is okay, but giving up should not be an option. They always say that failure is not an option. Failure should be an option because when you fail, you get up and then you fail and then you get up and that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. <laughs> failure is an option, should be an option, but giving up is not, never. We have this thing in minds. We call it perfection. We want everything perfect. We want ourselves to be perfect. There is this image in our head about everything. Perfect life, perfect relationships, perfect career, perfect amount of money that we need to earn no matter what. Nothing is perfect in this world. We all are perfectly imperfect and that is perfectly all right. That's all right. Always remember one thing. On the road to success, there is always we, not me. Do not think that you alone can achieve things. No. There is always another person who is standing behind you, maybe not coming on the forefront, but behind you, praying for you and supporting you. Never lose that person. Never. I believe in the power of words. Many people speak before they think, but I know the value of words. The words can make you, break you, they can heal your soul, they can damage you forever. So I always try to use the positive words in my life wherever I go. They call it adversity, I call it opportunity. They call it weakness, I call it strength. They call me disabled, I call myself differently abled. They see my disability. 
They see my disability, I see my ability.